Ciao ragazzi! Everything I'm currently using during my first trimester, what a, and the whole general experience just going through the first trimester of pregnancy. Before we continue, this video is sponsored by Newbie. They gifted me this amazing an amazing headset that I'm using for always for my Zoom calls or team meetings and it has also this microphone right here so we sit in the office together with our Ali you know, and I don't want to be screaming so with this is really really nice I can always whisper and their headset are quite nice and affordable it's also noise cancelling besides using it when it's when I have Zoom meetings and stuff, I also use it when I'm going for a walk because it's noise cancelling, it's nice and soft. When I'm doing my, you know, everyday walk because it's suggested by my doctor that I do I always go walking or cycling. I don't have a bicycle so I go for walks. I use this just to make sure that I have a nice relaxing environment and listen to my favorite relaxing music when I'm taking time for myself and the baby. My journey so far has been really beautiful. I can't complain. I would say the first thing I was concerned about when it came to just finding out we are expecting was definitely the morning sickness because I have a couple of friends who were going through terrible, terrible morning sickness. They couldn't go to work. They were like throwing up all the time. Luckily for me, I didn't have any morning sick, like I didn't experience any of that. I was really nervous about it and I've talked to my doctor on the first appointment and the doctor said, okay, if you really want to be on the safe side, I'm going to give you some pills against, like just to prevent or to take in case you start feeling like you want to throw up or anything like that. And I do, I did get some pills at the beginning, but I've never taken them because it just never... I didn't experience that and I think I'm very lucky, very grateful for that. But obviously there's still other changes that are going on. I think the first thing which was terrible for me was always oh, swollen boobs. That is terrible and painful. So that, I have had a lot of that and still going on at the moment. And then from time to time I also have a lot of uh, just pain in my stomach. I think it's just like uh, your ligaments are stretching, your muscles are stretching and allow the, the baby to grow and from time to time, the doctor said it should be okay. It, it's not a common sign, but it is actually a sign that is also associated with pregnancy and could be terrible. Now, sometimes for me it's bad, sometimes it's really bad, but it doesn't last for a week or so, it's like maybe one afternoon or so then it goes away for a while for four weeks or six weeks and then again you start feeling really terrible pain in the abdomen area and then it disappear again so that so I have prenatal vitamins that's what I've been taking and I even started with this just the moment we decided we wanted to try to get pregnant I started with this as well like a very high concentration of folic acid then I have vitamin B12 in there as well as vitamin D. This is like my everyday intake during this time. I take one tablet every day and so far it's good. I haven't had any problem. I took a simple one, the German brand called Folio. Super simple, you can buy them I think for about 7 euros in a pharmacy or from Amazon. I'm also taking magnesium supplements. When I discovered that I was pregnant, sometimes during the night when I tried to stretch my legs, I was experiencing these cramps again and I thought, okay, magnesium supplements would be nice and these are separate in another capsule. What you have to be careful about when you're looking for this, you have to do research and making sure that whatever you're buying should be should have higher bioavailability because not every magnesium that is for, like not every form of magnesium that you find in this tablet is really bioavailable like your body can really absorb it so just check that and of course for everything you buy for me everything I buy just make sure that it's not contraindicated for for pregnancy like for anybody who is in a 
who is expecting. I have also bought some iron supplements, you know, to help because you now you probably have more blood volume, you're supplying the blood to the placenta and so on to help with the building and formation of more blood cells and stuff. I have iron, but I have to be honest, I have not, I think I took two two or three pills from this uh, iron supplement, then I stopped because I was not feeling myself and I stopped. Once you discover you're pregnant, the next thing that will come to your mind is stretch marks. I've been using this, is, I don't think you can see it on camera, it's, you know Palmas is a very famous brand, Palmas Cocoa Butter Formula with uh, Vitamin E for massage cream. It's written specific massage cream for stretch marks collagens, elasticity, argan oil, and shea butter. I only bought one of this. Then afterward, when I saw what was on the bottle and I think what is in the bottle is mainly shea butter mixed with a lot of stuff. Instead, I opted for buying like this one kilo of just 100% shea butter. I melt that and whip it down to make it soft and I, that's what I use now every single day mainly from here, I, from my chest area down to my knees. Just make sure that the area that usually more prone to stretch mark is well moisturized. Now you might be laughing at me because this is like, it's a nipple cream mainly used when you're breastfeeding. And you're probably thinking, Limpy, you're crazy. You are far away from that. Why do you have that already? Yes, I know. I don't know if it's going to help or not. But uh, my sister told me, okay, I should buy this well in advance, start using it. If I do that, it would reduce the, like how so the nipples are going to be when you initially start breastfeeding. And since my nipples were really, really sore at the beginning of the pregnancy, and I was like, also very, very painful. I just bought it and I thought, okay, I'm going to start using it. I don't think it has helped in any way, it made them obviously softer. We have to see when the baby's born if I'm going to have uh, problems when I start breastfeeding. And I think I will be using this later on for what is intended for, which is apply on your nipples when you are breastfeeding to prevent them from cracking. Do I need to eat for two people or... Mm -hmm. No, at the moment I'm not eating too, like I'm, I don't feel like since I discovered that I'm pregnant I, I'm eating way more than usual yet. My doctor also advised me that I shouldn't eat way too much because most of that weight doesn't really go to the baby. Important is balanced diet, like you have to make sure that you're taking care or you, you actually taking the baby supplied with all the important micronutrients and also macronutrients, but it doesn't necessarily mean you have to eat way more than you're eating. You just need to, right, to eat right, like the right things that you need and that are needed for the baby development and growth. So I'm not eating too much, but I changed my diet. Spinach now, it has to be at least three times a week. Whether I eat it with porridge, whether I eat it on its own, just with a little bit of parmesan cheese or whatever it's fine spinach has to be there a lot of dry beans i love beans in general in a stew or in a bean salad i do eat that as well green beans are also there and then something now that i eat more a lot of fruits for vitamin c especially to Houston. i don't know vitamin c when you get pregnant you're always informed that you're a little bit not always 100 percent fit in terms of uh, immunity because the body also has to lower the immunity to accommodate the changes that are happening in your uterus. So I eat a lot of oranges, um, a lot of bubble powder, which is my probably number one intake or supplement for vitamin C. And then I have got yogurt for vitamin D as well. I would uh, I always opt for the one with probiotics because I think they're also essential for then improving my gut system. And what else do I have? More fish. And I, yeah, it's, it's, it's such a change because I think back in the day I would eat just more like uh, mussels 
and fish was not really in my diet as much as it is now. At the moment, I also try to incorporate fish in my diet at least two times in a week. Apart from that, of course, every day two liters of water. This is extreme. I didn't know that I was going to make it, but now I'm kind of really used. Two liters of water per day. I bought like a cup. Uh, like I have a 500 ml cup that I, well, that's where I use like that's what I use on every day to make my tea I just make sure that I take four of those and then I know I'm done with my two liters two in the morning somewhere two when I take the afternoon break like between 15 to 16 30 or 17 then I'm fine if I do that after dinner then I'll be peeing the whole night I'm not doing that anymore, but it's important. I think it is very important. It helps with the circulation and trans transportation of the nutrients from your body to the baby. You need obviously high blood volume, so a lot of fluid. That is everything I'm taking at the moment. And I think so far so good, but you know, I would like to hear from you. Maybe some people on this channel have kids already, you have some experiences, you know what works better, leave that in the description below. At the moment I'm going, you know, slow on supplements and everything, but I think if at the later stage I will need to do, probably eat more and also go a little bit heavier with the supplements, just my thought, but yeah. Leave that in the comment section if I need to. Maybe I'm missing some important stuff that I don't even know about because I only go mainly by everything I read online and not. I don't know much. It's my first child, what do I know? Yeah. If you enjoy this kind of video from me, I know this channel is now becoming like baby and pregnancy channel. It's just how I'm feeling now. My mood at the moment is just something that I don't know. This is my first pregnancy pregnancy I'm just so excited about it and I can't yeah I can't I can't hide it. I can also talk about other things, I don't know what, but this is just my mind is hundred percent occupied with this topic twenty four hours and I'm excited to share this with you and I hope you guys also enjoy this kind of videos on this channel. Leave a like subscribe to the channel and also if you have some tips for me leave that in the comment section below see you in our next video and hopefully the next video ali is going to join me ciao ciao ciao